Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fashion file reveal and this unfortunately is not a true unboxing because I did film the unboxing about 20 minutes ago and then as I was trying to transition to mod shots, I accidentally turned off my camera and ended the video. So I'm doing this again, I'm sweating because I'm just filming back to back, but the bag is in the dust bag. If you watched my latest video, then you'll know that what's inside is a speedy. So in my last video, let me show you. I revealed this beauty here, the Speedy B, right? The bandolier version in the massive 35 size. I know 35 is not massive for a lot of people, but for me it is because I usually like mini bags and crossbody bags and even the Speedy 25 size that I have in the classic monogram is rather large for me. Let me grab that. So this one here, this one, the 25 classic I got from Fashion File and I hardly reach for it even though it's beautiful because it's kind of big for me for everyday use and I can't figure out what to put in it and I feel like it gets kind of saggy and all that. So I do have an organizer in here at the moment which keeps its shape. But yeah, anyway, my point is even this is rather large for me for everyday use, but I wanted to get the 35 with the bandolier in particular because I wanted this as a travel bag. I am doing a staycation with a friend of mine this weekend and we are staying overnight at a hotel for one night. So I thought this would be perfect for an extra change of clothes, pajamas, toiletries, electronics, a book, like I could easily get a lot in here. And then again, because it has the strap, then I can easily sling this on one shoulder. I actually shortened the strap. There is a middle piece as well. If you watched my later, latest video, I removed that so that this could be the shortest uh, length and it's perfect for me on one shoulder. I have it packed at the moment with just some clothes because I wanted it to be uh, structured for the video. I didn't want it to be sagging. I also do. I also want to get the creases out. There are some creases here from how this is packed when it's shipped. So straight from the boutique, it is packed like a pancake. You'll see in my last unboxing video. Anyway, let me get to this one because I had mentioned that I also ordered another one because I wanted to compare. They didn't have this one in the boutique, so I found it on Fashion File and I paid for overnight shipping so that I can get it right away and quickly compare and decide on which one. And I'm still a little bit conflicted because as you can see, this one is the classic monogram and it is beautiful. It has the Vachetta leather. It is pre-loved, so obviously some patina. I actually love the honey colored patina on the larger speedies because they're for, for me in my mind, travel or they're like workhorse bags. I don't want the virgin Vachetta. It's very intimidating when you see that like stark, very light colored Vachetta that can be so easily damaged or stained or watermarked. So I like that it has some patina already because I feel like it's been lived in and used and so it's a bit less high maintenance. Although I do see here, so when I unboxed it in the first video, I did notice there was some staining here. This does not seem to be watermarks. It looks like more like black or brown, just scuff marks. I don't know if there's an easy way to get that out. But otherwise, the vachetta on the chaps look good. The handles look really nice, really nicely patinaed. I know many of you have mentioned how well my Pochette Matisse vachetta has patinaed and also how well my Speedy 25 vachetta has patinaed from the previous owner because I bought that pre-loved. So I do pay close attention when I'm ever looking at vachetta pieces just because I don't want like blatant watermarks or scuffs, uh, not scarves, scarves, <laughs> stains. Literally, I'm sweating. This is, it's hard to film back to back. Um, and plus I have like 20 minutes before I go run to pick up my kids from school. Um, okay, so here is the strap. And unfortunately, I can't take this off right now because it's looped into the Fashion File tag, which if you remove, if you know anything about ordering from Fashion File, you'll know that if you cut the tag off, there's no way that they will accept a return. So you just have to keep everything intact. Unfortunately, they looped it through the strap here, so I can't remove the strap. I wanted to do that to really take a closer look at it. But the first thing that stands out is how soft and pliable the Vachetta leather is. And that's the beauty of the cowhide, even though it can be quite high maintenance. And yes, if it rains or snows, it can get watermarked and stained and all of that. But look how soft and pliable that is. So on the shoulder, this is going to feel so comfortable and buttery versus 
the Dami Ebin having the more carefree, very durable, treated leather, which I like because then I don't have to worry about it getting messed up, but it's going to be less soft, less pliable. So let me show you here. See, it's more stiff. I wouldn't even say stiff because it's not super stiff, but compared to the Vachetta, it feels like it's rigid, right? It's all relative. So I'm hoping this will soften over time if I keep this one, which I think I'm going to. Um, but I may, after all, get a thicker guitar strap or cotton band strap or something to replace to use instead of this that will be far more comfortable especially as a travel bag when it's packed it will be heavy so comfort will be key but this is definitely a plus on the Vachetta so so comfortable buttery and soft so this is the older model you can tell because it has the uh, open slip pocket in there this is also the keys and lock it's a bit tarnished as you can see because this is older but that's okay for me as long as the keys and the lock work that's fine it's more of a functional thing versus a an aesthetic thing um whereas on this one which is brand new i looked at the date code this was made at the tail end of 2020 so it's just a few months old from the factory so it's pretty fresh here i just have some sweatshirts in here so you can see it has the same compartment but this one will be zippered so that's how you can tell this is the newer model from a few years back and it has the pop of red lining because that goes with the dummy a bin i do love that i have the matching in the mini pochette as well so back to this one it came with two dust bags so this little one i don't know what it's for maybe for the strap and then this is the larger one and then yeah it's got the really pretty brown chestnut brown lining which we all i'm sure are familiar with it's really clean on the inside it's really well um oh here's the ring it's in really good condition there's a little bit of tarnish on some of the hardware but who cares this is meant to be used and loved and it was used and hopefully loved by the previous owner so there's going to be some of that yeah you could see here like on here there's some tarnish and maybe some wear and then you'll see here that the strap color is lighter than the Vachetta leather on the bag itself which tells me the previous owner probably used this bag more on the crook of their shoulder or handheld without the strap because the strap patina far less so maybe they just tucked it in or tucked it away in their closet um, but still it's a nice color and, and like I said really soft so the zipper I checked it earlier and it's nice and smooth I checked that one as well in my original unboxing so I really wanted to compare these two Again, really for travel purposes, these are not going to be everyday bags for me. They're quite large. And when you pack them, they get heavy. But I wanted to show you mod shots on how they look, but I'm too scared that once I try again, the camera's going to shut off. So I'm going to save the mod shots. Maybe I'll just take pictures and post them on uh, my channel as a regular post. I can do that on the community pages. Or I'll just post on my Instagram to give you a sense but I'd love your thoughts in the comments below which one you think, I don't know, works best for me, suits me best, especially if you are a regular here on my channel and you know my collection, you know what I have, you know my preferences. I really respect your opinions. Um, oh, here, I had to compare this in my original unboxing of the Dami Ibn, but you can just kind of see the, the size difference from 25, this one, to 35. It's very, very big difference. Of course, there's the 30 in between, which I don't have, which I think wouldn't be appropriate for me because 30 would be too big for me every day and 30 would be too small for me for travel. So I think I would skip that. But this is a cutie. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I, I feel like the bigger, the better. I'm, I don't know why I'm shocked because I was such a late bloomer with Louis Vuitton in general. I was such a late bloomer on the Speedy, like I resisted for so many years for a variety of reasons. And you know I gravitate towards smaller bags, but I don't know what it is with these. I feel like the bigger the better. These two just have more oomph than this one. I feel like it just, this doesn't look as 
exciting to me now compared to the big ones. And so for a split second, I was thinking, do I sell the 25 and keep these two? But honestly, that's really not a smart decision for me because I don't need two 35s. I don't need two for travel. I just need one to put on top of my luggage or use as a carry-on. So I'm trying to be sensible about this. And I think I am leaning towards the Dami Ibin. I love how chic it looks. I love how it's more, um, I feel like it's a little less noticeable. Obviously, people who know Louis Vuitton will know what this is, but because it is more of the dark brown on the canvas, it just doesn't pop as much as the Vachetta on the monogram. In my opinion, uh, they're both gorgeous. They really are. They're both so gorgeous. I love that the creasing has pretty much come out of that one. And let me move this one away because we're not talking about this one today. Here it is compared side by side. I mean, they're both really, really pretty. But I think I'm leaning towards this one. Also because probably because it's new and it kind of starts off with me and my travel journeys and then it will have my history versus this one, which I don't mind. You guys know I have become a big believer in pre-loved and shopping pre-loved and giving something a, a new life. I really love that idea. So nothing against that, but I don't know. I am... I'm just gravitating towards the Demi Ibin, so I'd love your thoughts in the comments below. They're both great bags. I did save a few hundred off of retail on this one, so it was a good deal, which then makes me feel tempted to keep it, but you don't just keep things because you got a good deal. You have to keep them because they work for you and you really will use it and you, you, know, you need it in your life. Well, need it in your life, right? So again, trying to be sensible. Um, here you have both stamped... Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Don't know if you can see that. Made in France. The same with this one, made in France. There you go. Um, I guess if I didn't have any other monogram, I would gravitate towards this one. But I have the pochette Matisse and the pochette Accessoire and a couple of the toiletries. And, you know, I, I do enjoy the monogram, but this would be my big, first big, like, Damier bin piece. I have my key pouch and my mini pochette in this, so... Yeah, I think I'm leaning towards this one. And if you know me at all, and I've I've gone through this a few times on my channel where I would share and then make my decision, um, I usually almost always decide within 24 hours to keep or return because number one, I don't want to get attached if I'm hesitant. So 24 hours is really my max. And I also just want to be considerate because if there's someone out there who's looking for this one, let's say on Fashion File, and happens to miss it because I hold on to it for too long, I don't know, that doesn't feel right either. So might as well just hurry up and make a decision Technically, Fashion File has a very generous return policy. I believe they still offer 30-day return window, which is really, really awesome. Um, so I could technically hold on to this for about a month, but I just received it. I just picked up the package from my doorman today. I just opened it, and I'm probably going to make my decision tonight and either keep it or ship it out first thing tomorrow morning so that it gets back into Fashion File circulation. I've done that before, once or twice, and I noticed that Fashion File is really quick to relist it and it's back on their site within a week. So that gives me peace of mind that whoever might be looking for it can buy it if it's not meant for me. So yeah, I wish I could keep both, but I, I don't need to. Like I could keep both, but that would be pointless. Well, I would neglect one and only wind up using the other. So. I think the, the one thing that's kind of bothering me a little bit is this stuff here. I uh, don't know if you can tell. They're like black or brown kind of marks. I think that something either scraped against it or it just got dirtied. So it's not a deal breaker considering it's pre-loved and I paid below retail. But if I was going to be a stickler, that would that's bothering me a little bit. Um, but otherwise, oh, there's a little bit of wear here I didn't see in the photos, so you can see. So this is definitely used and has some, some history and some character. Yeah, and it's hard to find speedies that are made in France these days. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna go I think I will go with this one. So whichever one I keep, I'm going to do a follow-up video. I know a number of you asked to see me pack 
the bag for my overnight trip, which I will do. I'm also curious how much will fit and how it'll look. So I'll follow up with a video with either one of these, whichever one I am keeping, and whichever video, whichever bag you don't see in that packing video, just assume that it went back, whether it went back to the boutique or it went back to Fashion File, because I'm going to keep only one. So I hope that is helpful. And if you want more details on this one or just close-ups, please go back and watch my original unboxing, which was my latest video. And what else can I show you? Yeah, I do want to show you my chats, but I'm, I'm scared my camera, my phone's not going to cooperate today. So I'm going to skip that. So I hope this was um, interesting and helpful if you're kind of torn between the two prints. I know a lot of people say this is the classic. They say it's the classic monogram. I get that. But technically, the classic is a Dami Ibin. This was the first print that Louis Vuitton came out with. And then actually it was only after Louis Vuitton passed away that his son uh, took over the business and developed this new monogram print that was inspired by Asian art and Japanese gardens. And that's why you see the florals. So there is a story behind that, but this is not the first. It's not like, I think it's a little bit misleading when we say this is the classic print because actually it's the Dami Ibin. So I hope that was helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you, if you have any questions down below. And yeah, let me know your thoughts. And I will see you next time. Bye.